Today, we're going to... What the hell are we going to do today? Oh, yeah. Hey guys, Joey WQSY810 here. I've been working extremely hard uh, to get our repeater functioning for for our new location in Plainview, uh, New York. And uh, I um, purchased a Rytron repeater. Actually, it's a it's an exciter. It only puts out of maybe about one to two watts, maybe three watts. It says one to five it can do, but and that's 100% duty, by the way, by the way, from 1 to 5 watts and 1 to 6 watts out. And uh, I could dump it to an amplifier that does 1 to uh, 6 watts in as well. And that, that's the input on the amplifier. And it produces, like, between 40 and, and you know, 60 watts out, which is, like, perfect for a repeater. Um, so anyway, um, I've been having great difficulty having... I purchased an Arcom uh, uh, RC210 uh, device. I'll show you a picture up here. It'll come up in a second. And that repeater is the end-all, be-all repeater for controllers for repeaters. It just uh, the, what's really nice about the Arcom is that it actually has three ports on it, so you can have you can actually control three different devices at the same time and intertwine each one of them together, which is really nice. I'll show the back. I'll show you a picture of the back of it in a moment. But the Rytron repeater, which is approximately 12 years old, and it's a uh, rack mount device. It's a 1U rack mount. I'm going to show a picture of that as well. And there's nothing to it. It's just a transmitter, a small little transmitter with a little amplifier inside of it, and then a receiver, and that's it. And uh, and then a controller board. And the controller board um, wasn't playing nice with the Arcom controller and uh, it was really bothering the bejesus out of me you have no idea how how uh, complicated I mean, you know this whole thing was so since the Arcom is a 21st century device I mean the Rytron is too uh, actually it's probably from the 19th century now that I think about it or the 20th century it's pretty it's probably about 15 years old as as everybody as everybody in right trying to tell me it's like a 15 year old repeater but it works perfectly fine the the technology of the device hasn't changed it's just it's old it's an older device but it works great it doesn't do anything it's very low power drawer doesn't draw much of anything because it's an exciter so it just puts out enough wattage uh to drive an amplifier which is also a low uh, high duty cycle 100% duty cycle amplifier which I'll show you that as well so anyway this video is about how to interface the right the Rytron uh, RRX-460-EX uh, of the technology that this has it wasn't the Arcom can only can do either one look for a high or look for a low from the source so if the repeater can actually change either, if you transmit, the voltage should drop. Um, either on the Arcom, I mean on the, on, the, on the repeater. So if you transmit and you transmit a high, the Arcom can work either direction. It can go, it can look for a high and transmit and engage, or look for a low and transmit and, and engage. So it can do either or, depending on what the repeater can do. Uh, most repeaters, except for this one, can do either or. You can either send a high or send a low from the from the from the repeater. So since the Arcom, uh, since the Rytron is is an older piece of equipment, there wasn't any need to look for a high, or actually look uh, to yeah look for a high, or actually I should say I'm so, I'm trying to, I'm so confused right now because I've been working so hard on this for the last two weeks. So excuse me. The Rytron sends a low uh, when, when it transmits, but the low is not low enough to trigger the Arcom. So I've been going back and forth 
with Arcom, uh, Ken at Arcom. Great guy, by the way. Ken, he's like, whoa, awesome. He just, his technical knowledge is just beyond um, my expectation, that's for sure. I mean, I sent him schematics of the Rytron, and within 40 minutes, he had the solution. So the solution was, on the, on the Rytron repeater, there is a, a, a resistor by the jumper. And I'll show you that jumper um, in, in a picture up here. And that jump, the jumper is fine, needs to be in the B position, but there's a small little SMD resistor. It's so tight, like, I mean, if you ever saw my, my video with, uh, with um, uh, doing the 5100 Morse cap mod, those things are just about the same size. They're so tiny. And you need to, I removed the, it's a 10K ohm resistor. I just removed it. I just took it off and I jumped it with solder. And because that resistor needs to be jumpered in order for the ARCOM to communicate. And that's it. And that's all you have to do. And the, the resistor number on that is R528. I'm going to show you a picture of that, of the schematic and of the actual board itself. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to show you uh, after this. I'm going to get, I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you a video of where it's located on the uh, the Patriot uh, Exciter or the Rytron uh, Patriot Exciter. Uh, in just okay. So now I have this is the the Exciter. As you see, it's a one U device, and the Arcom is over here. So when I would transmit, well now it works, but there are lights on here. There. Are, uh, COS, which carry detect, DTS, and push to talk. This is WQSY810 portable on frequency. And then I have to still program the push to talk. Still, the hang time is a little too long. So I go into, so into the uh, Arcom software and, and, and get that fixed. But uh, that's not a problem. That's, now it functions properly. So this, this is all 100% correct. So as you can see, there are. There are multiple ports. There's like three LEDs here, three LEDs here, three LEDs here, and then what are these here? DTMF tones for each port. So that's why there's three. There's, there are three serial ports on this thing and the programming thing. So port one, this is the, you know, the first repeater, second repeater, third repeater. Um, analog to digital I.O. input output and then the programming cable on that side and then the power here by the way this actually offers this this uh, pin number four the pin number four is on the left pin number one is on the right pin number four is also ground pin number two is for a battery backup so if you want to add a battery backup to this you can so you don't lose power but I'm having a UPS on mine so it doesn't really matter all right so that's the back of the Arcom really tiny nothing to this thing it's unbelievable that it's $500 so anyway, so let's get inside of the Rytron repeater. So now I just have uh, two screws. There's actually four screws on this, but when I received this, I only received it with, with two screws, and they were actually the wrong size too. Um, so remove these two. I'm going to slide this over. All right, so now we get to the meat and potatoes. So this is, this is the transmit portion of the repeater. Of the exciter uh, this is the receive portion of it and then this is the the interface board uh, the 25 pin cable the DB 25 pin cable branches out to these two connectors a 6 pin connector and a 10 pin connector and that goes out to the DB 25 out the back so what we really need to look at and I'm gonna start to zoom in over here is if I can get it to zoom here we go is if you see that blob of solder there that is where resistor 528 is located i'm going to use my screwdriver i'm going to point in there and you're going to see how small it actually is so that is the location of the resistor i just removed it because i just did not want to um deal with trying to jumper it i mean that's that's got to be really sorry if it's a little shaky here i'll try to stiffen it up but that you can see that jumper you know how small that jumper is right and there's the I just I took the resistor off and then I just blobbed the solder on there I spoke with Rytron and the new revisions that they're going to be making will have the jumper capability for that 
feature so you may need to you know leave that 10k ohm resistor on there and then if you're going to use an Arcom um, um, controller then you jumper the jumper which jumper is that 10k resistor but since I'm only going to be using it with the Arcom I didn't care <laughs> so that's how it's going to stay forever um, and that's pretty much it I removed the I removed the uh, the the um, R528 10k resistor popped it out jumped it done now the thing works perfect and that is my 100% duty cycle amplifier that has uh, does 1 to 5 watts in and uh, 40 to 60 watts out um, don't know the I don't know the brand offhand I think it's a trielectric um, model uh, manufacturer for that uh, amplifier and that's pretty much it guys that's how you make an Rytron exciter function with the Arcom controller take care